Expect the comics and I'm back. This time I wanted to make a video entry for Bearded and Cole's indie top 10 books. If you're interested in seeing what my top 10 are, stay tuned for that intro. So if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. So, um, Greg and Cole have been doing these videos for a little bit now, and I've just not had the opportunity to make one. Had a little bit of time, and, um, and I saw that this one had to do with indies that weren't image-related. Uh, I wish I got back and then did the image ones, because I do have a bunch of image um, titles that I do like as well. But uh, this one's more interesting to me because it has to do with the really small publishers out there, really obscure titles. Uh, some, some of these publishers are not even really well known. So my goal for uh, Greg and Cole's challenge is to just spotlight 10 books that um, you may have never heard of, never seen the covers, uh, maybe something you may be interested in reading down the road. Um, None of these really, to my knowledge, have any like spec worthiness or anything like that. They're just fun reads, you know. So um, in no particular order. And if I can remember what the books are about, <laughs> I'll tell you. Um, so let's uh, let's start from the top. Um, number one, let's see. Blue Flame, number one from Vault Comics. Um, trying to jog my memory. I have not read the whole series, but... Um, Talks about a cosmic hero, as you can see here. I do love cosmic covers, and I think this is a pretty nice one, if you ask me. Um, it is written by Christopher Cantwell, which I did have another book that was going to be on this list, uh, She Can Fly, but I, I couldn't find the book. But um, he's a basically a uh, do-it-yourself vigilante um, from the streets of Milwaukee, and uh, he's like a blue-collar HVAC repairman named Sam Brazum. Yeah. Uh, basically, in the uh, wake of a horrific tragedy, the planet, you know, is on trial, and he must prove to, you know, basically humanity that they're worth saving. So, um, very interesting read. I do love the cover, and uh, it's my first book. Um, number two, this was actually a really fun series. Um, a lot of action. Not too many, you know, not really too verbose, but just like a fun, quick read. And this came from Mad Cave Comics. And this is um, Hellfighter Quinn, issue number one. And this was one of the early copies. It was like a sneak preview, advanced reader copy. Um, yeah, so the free preview that they had for uh, comic stores. But this was just like a fun series. I do like reading those like action, you know, death arena type of like storylines. And uh, this was just a simple, fun read. But um, Hellfighter Quint, issue number one. All right. Um, number three. This is going to be coming from Dynamite Comics. Um, and I haven't really been reading anything from Dynamite Comics. And um, to be honest, I haven't even been reading this series. But this is just a great cover. And um, I love John Wick, love the series. And uh, this is John Wick, issue number four. And as you can see, the photo cover. And uh, these are just fantastic. Um, love the movies. Like I said, they're always make, making new movies. They're going to be, I think there's another one coming out too. Or oh, they're in development. But um, just a great cover. Um, so that's number three. This series was actually a series I did read, and uh, uh, for many, some people have probably never even heard of this publisher. Very small publisher, uh, Red Five Comics, um, little mini series. This is Riptide, uh, written by Chitwood, uh, Luker, and Pattinson artwork. This was basically like in a cataclysmic event where like uh, I believe it was an asteroid hits uh, was it not the Mediterranean but the Caribbean uh, there was like a group of people vacationing 
And as you can see here, they're on a boat. Looks like it's tipping over. Just a quick little series, um, cataclysmic event, what they do after the events of an asteroid hits the uh, planet. And this is just a great cover, you know. Um, issue number two is also fantastic. You see that really um, cool hammerhead shark. I'll probably just drop a picture in there as well just so you guys can see it. But um, this whole series had some really nice covers. I just stuck with the uh, number one. And that's my number four. Um, let's see, number five, this comes from Dark Horse Comics. You probably have heard of this series. This is Sword Daughter. This is issue number one. Just like this, this is like a, almost like a sketch cover, but it's like, you know, painted. Um, written by Brian Wood, Mac Charter, Chater, um, and colors by Jose Vanilla. Villa Rubia, Villa Rubia. I was gonna say Villa Nueva. Um, this is one of those like almost like a medieval um, fantasy storyline where I believe it, this has been quite some time since I've read this story. Um, her, I think her parents died, and this guy right here kind of like becomes her father like you know watches over her and they just basically go on this you know quest uh in like ancient medieval times um just a fun read if you like that kind of dark fantasy you know medieval type of storyline um but yeah another series that had some really cool covers as well and all right so since we're talking about indies i had to show a little horror um and this is from behemoth and this is Damien Connolly's You Promised Me Darkness. As you can see, it's a really dark cover. Uh, got a nice creepy figure there in the background. Just a little bit of eyes there. Just to give it that little extra creep factor. Um, honestly, I, was, I had high hopes for this series. It just never clicked for me. Um, so I, I stopped at issue number two. I honestly don't even remember what the story was about. But, um, yeah, that, <laughs> sorry about that, but, um, it's just a cool cover. You know, I like horror and this is just a, a nice little modern horror cover. So, um, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, we got four to go. Um, this is just a funny cover. I've never read this issue and, uh, I ended up getting this book a okay. And this is like, um, a few people have this cover this book as well. I know uh, my buddy Tony Old Wolf has this book as, <laughs> as well. And you'll laugh when you see this, but this is uh, from Kitchen Sink Comics. This is Don Simpson's Yarn Man. And uh, I'm going to say, if you don't have this book, you got to have this book. This book is just hilarious. Um, funny, just funny artwork inside. As you can see, it's just like the cover and, you know, it's really, it's wacky. Um, I love yellow covers as well, so <laughs> just like an added bonus. But uh, as you can see here, first issue, um, Megaton Man's Pal. Uh, <laughs> here you go, uh, Yarn Man, issue number one. All right. Um, this is probably a title you've probably never heard of. Um, another small publisher. This comes from Scout Comics. And... This is um, Zenober, Zenober issue number one, another um, dark fantasy type of storyline, which from time to time I do enjoy. Um, this was mainly a cover buy because I this was the I think this was the one in ten. They call it it's cover B, but it's, a, it's I believe it's a one in ten. Um, really tough book to find now, and uh, oh. but I just love it because it's that really cool fantasy looking dragon. And uh, it's just sitting on a uh, crumbled castle. Um, but yeah, there you go. All right, down to the last two. Um, another small publisher. This is from Action Lab, um, Danger Zone. This is Aberrant, issue number one. Just a fantastic cover. I love these really cool like um, war covers and um, 
I believe this had to do, if I'm not mistaken, this is in Iraq during the Iraq war. Um, decent story and uh, written by Grant and you got Triono and Hus Huska artwork. Um, but just love the skull cover there. You also get this um, nice, you know, military badges there as well. And uh, yeah, um, just a great cover. You can see for mature readers. Um, yeah, just say that. But um, that's my second to last pick. And my number one or last pick for the uh, challenge, and this is from a really small publisher as well. This is from Alterna Comics. And uh, this has actually been a really fun read. And I do believe Geronimo, Robert Geronimo, is coming out with his fourth volume, which will be coming out later this year. Um, if you did the Patreon, I believe you can get the copies already. But this is Blood Realm, issue number one. Um, it's been a fantastic read. The artwork is awesome. It's written and done in artwork by Robert Geronimo. Um, really cool dark fantasy horror uh, storyline. This was part one, which is uh, Dark Covenant. But um, also takes place in medieval times. There was a lot of like, um, like religious vibes brought into the medieval storylines. Because in the medieval times, there was a lot of religion involved. And uh, Robert Geronimo drew a lot into that in this storyline. But um, it's just like a nice uh, fantasy like world that he's created. And um, I'm really excited for volume four. A lot of, you know, the series covers are all in this nice, as you can see, Blood Realm. It's, you know, red covers. And you got these, um, a lot of this black painted, because a lot of these were all painted covers. I do have um, original artwork for one of the covers in, I think it's volume three, volume three or volume two, I forget. It's on my IG somewhere. Um, but it's just been a really fun read. I'm really excited for volume four and seeing what, where this series goes forward. So uh, that's the challenge. Um, Sorry, I couldn't remember some of the stories to uh, these uh, books, but um, I can assure you they're all pretty fun reads and uh, a lot of different variety for, you know, all sorts of, uh, you know, readers and uh, great covers, if you ask me. Um, but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And uh, thanks, um, Greg and Cole, for doing the challenge. I'm excited to see what you do for August if you do another challenge going forward, because then I'll be interested in uh, entering and showing off what I have. But uh, that's it, guys. Until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.